Hi, I'm uh, Gavin Miller with the Toronto Region Conservation Authority and I'm a flora biologist and I'm here to discuss some of the invasive species that are often uh, found in your garden. The uh, first one I'm, I want to discuss is this gutweed down here and uh, gutweed is quite easily identifiable because it has these uh, compound leaves. Compound meaning each uh, single leaf has, uh, is divided into leaflets as such. And if you look through this garden here, this stuff spreads underground through its root system everywhere, which is why people started to plant it, because they wanted something that was uh, zero maintenance and it would just grow no matter what. Uh, as you can see, it does exactly that. Uh, in hot, dry summers such as this one in full sun, it tends to go uh, crispy brown at the edges. Uh, that, that doesn't really slow it down though. Next spring it'll be right back up again. It originates in uh, Europe and Asia. Uh, the problem with the gutweed is that it uh, is very aggressive. It uh, takes over sections of your garden through its uh, root stalks. And uh, not only that, it can spread into natural areas. Uh, I have surveyed sections of river valleys in my biological inventories for the Conservation Authority where there's hectares of this stuff. Uh, it grows in anything from sun to shade, uh, grows best in semi-shade, so these uh, semi-open floodplains are perfect habitat for it. And often they have spread from some old homestead, there might have been a house there uh, 50 years ago, and the plant just takes over the, the wild areas, and it's even choked out some of the ferns and native wildflowers in the ravines. So what you want to do is first of all not purchase the stuff. If you have it, uh, you got to dig out the root stalks. Uh, if you've got stones, you got to lift up the stones, uh, track the roots down and dig them out, and uh, replace it with some native ground covers. Uh, uh, if you've got a, a shaded or semi-shaded area, some of the good native ground covers include uh, wild ginger and uh, wild geranium. Uh, the wild ginger does form a ground cover with um, heart-shaped leaves. The geranium has uh, purple flowers uh, in the spring and the wild strawberry is for more full sun areas and it forms a ground cover that is very small tasty edible strawberries. And this my friends is a, an excellent example of a, a native ground cover. The Canada anemone is a uh, very hardy plant adaptable to a lot of different conditions ranging from sun to, uh, to shade. It especially does well in sun and semi-shade, but will grow in the shade as it does here as well. It is uh, adaptable to a wide range of soil conditions and has the same size, growth habit and texture as goutweed. So it's a particularly good substitute for goutweed. The, uh, an added bonus, this is finished now because we're well into July, but these uh, seed heads about a month ago were quite attractive white anemone flowers that last for about three weeks from uh, mostly in the month of June, depending on the season. It puts on a good show, so it has an even, that extra advantage over goutweed. It's about the same height, same texture, and same growth habit. So this is an excellent example of um, something you can grow.